Good morning. It is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. By the time you're seeing this, it will not be April Fool's Day. I'm on my way to LA again. As usual, I know I need to move there, but we gotta make enough dollars in order to move there and we're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Until then, it's just gonna be a cute little commute from Orange County to LA, but we're dreaming. We're working, we're trying to make it happen. I decided I want to go to Erwan and have a little brunch. So I'm just going to take a Suja immunity shot with turmeric and probiotics. This one has coconut water, pineapple, ginger, turmeric, echinia. I, can't, I can't pronounce that, I'm so sorry. I'll put how it's spelled on the screen. Orange, lemon, acerola cherry, ground black pepper, and probiotics. Let's open this bad boy up. <laughs> bad boy. Let's open this bad boy up is so lame to say. <laughs> but it's fine. Cheers. Very good. Not very spicy. And I'm gonna have one of these Truvani bars. Truvani sent me a few of their bars, which thank you, Truvani. So I have a few to choose from. Chocolate peanut butter, chocolate brownie, peanut butter, oatmeal chocolate chip coconut cashew. Immediately my mind goes to chocolate brownie. This one, chocolate brownie. Because chocolate is just my favorite food group of all time. This is my little snack before brunch. Very clean. It's very similar to RX bar. This chocolate flavor is actually richer, which I love. I approve. So anyway, I'm gonna go get another facial. My skin has been breaking out a bit more since the last one. So I'm hoping that's just due to purging, but we'll see what she says. I'm optimistic and I just love spending a day in LA anyway. So I'm gonna have fun. My esthetician asked me to come in early, so I am attempting to do so. I'm gonna try and do my air on haul as I'm driving over there. But first I got the Winnie Harlow smoothie. I have no idea what's in it and I will put the ingredient list on the screen, but this was $22. So it was, she was, a pretty funny. It tastes very tropical. It's not that sweet. So unlike most tropical smoothies, it's very mild. I know that's not a word you usually use to describe tropical, but it's like like a mixture to me of like a smoothie and a slushy. I'm not gonna lie though, it's not my favorite Erwan smoothie. I don't know. The flavor just isn't special. Some kale chips. So I got the raw kale chips combo because I just been I've been seeing these every time I come to Erwan. And I've been wanting to try them. So one side is ranch and the other side is spicy. The spicy honestly isn't even spicy. What I would call this flavor is spiced. It just kind of tastes like chipotle mayo kale chips, which is good. It's a good flavor, like I like it. And then the other side, which is the ranch. Let me try this again. I can't get this open, so I'm just trying to squeeze the kale chips out of the... It tastes like ranch, but again, the flavor isn't that strong. It's a little sweet, which I actually like. So, oh my God, LA is fucking crazy right now. <laughs> I originally wanted to go and get buffalo cauliflower, but I couldn't see that they were serving buffalo cauliflower. So instead, I got this sushi, cucumber sushi, with two different types of spicy tuna, I believe, and then spicy mayo and fish eggs. So there's like the black eggs and then there's the green eggs. I hope you can see that well. This is good. I would get this again and actually I really wanna make this at home. So I'm just gonna pop one. Look how big it is in my mouth. Mm. I like that a lot. I'm in my luteal phase, so cucumber is really good for your luteal phase. I'm so sorry for talking with my mouth chewing. The reason why cucumber is so good on your luteal phase is because a lot of women tend to get bloated during their luteal phase. And cucumber is one of the best vegetables for bloating, for your gut. It is mostly made out of water, so it hydrates your body and your cells. It's also a diuretic. So it has silicon and something else, I forget, which are natural diuretics, help you excrete <laughs> the extra water from your system. It has a high level of pantothenic acid, which is also really good for your skin, helps with PMS breakouts. And so cucumber is like the top vegetable I eat during my luteal phase if I'm not eating sweet potato. And I think you will see such a difference in your PMS if you include these two vegetables religiously during the week before your period. Oh yeah, and one last thing I got from Erwan were these sea moss gummies. I, I bought these last time 
and I'm buying them again. I don't know. I just like them. I really don't know if they're doing anything yet. And even if they're not doing anything, they're like making me happy to take. And I think that's good and a good enough reason to buy things is if you know it's gonna make you happy. Okay, I'm gonna go concentrate on driving now. <laughs> grocery store but before I do I kind of just wanted to show you my face this is for anyone struggling with acne like it is such a journey it is such a journey yesterday I showed you guys I was in LA for a facial this is the aftermath a day after of what it looks like when you have dozens and dozens of clogged pores that your esthetician needs to extract from your face so I'm just keeping it real. I don't know why I feel the need to share this because it feels very scary to share online, but I have the type of acne that you can't tell that I have acne until you're like up close and personal with my face because I have a type of acne called closed comedones or whiteheads. They don't come to the surface and turn all red. They're like stuck under the skin surface little skin colored bumps it's really difficult the day after to look at myself in the mirror and you know feel good about my skin because of how much i don't know even what you call it like damage i guess visible extractions you can see happened but anyways i'm just hopping on to be vulnerable on here because that's all I can be in my luteal phase is just so real and so honest about these things. We don't realize that hormone hormonal imbalance takes years to create and I get stuck thinking like it can be cured overnight and that's not the reality. I think our bodies are incredibly powerful and incredibly capable of healing itself. I still want to give it grace to allow it to heal in the time it takes for it to heal. That is my little soliloquy before we go grocery shopping. Done. I have been going to Pilates almost every week for about two months now since I got class pass. Honestly, class pass has been one of the best things that I've ever paid for because it's allowed me to explore different Pilates studios, try different kinds of workouts that you can't get at home, plain and simple, unless you own a reformer machine or crank up the temperature of your house to like 100 degrees like they do in hot yoga. It's been so fulfilling for me. I have never been this consistent in working out since I've started using class mask, but I'll also say since I really, really honed down on doing low impact workouts, it's never been easier for me to work out.
was like, um, should I open it? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh my god. You're joking. Happy birthday to Kevin! We already ate all the donuts. You already saw the clips of the donuts. Here's what's left. I think Momo's getting cut. And for the vlog, I think we need to take just one bite so that they know how freaking good these donuts were. So we ate them with forks, but I feel like we have to eat them with our hands oh. for the clip. I was gonna eat it with a fork. Okay. Well, Kevin, you have to wait for me. I'll take a bite of this. We need some air here. I'm actually really I'm full. Suffocating. I'm kind of done. Mommy! Wait, Mom, I'm recording! Cheers. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you. Sidecar is the best. The best. My ex didn't like sidecar, and that's why he's my ex. Cut the vlog. <laughs> Cut the video. <laughs> It's 77 degrees in Orange County right now. We immediately have to go to the beach. It's not that I don't have work to do, it's that I'm just going to deal with it after I get back from the beach. For some reason, last night, I got in this like weird, like sad mood. I woke up feeling like I need to do some self-care for myself. I need to take care of my mind. And it just so happened that today is 77 degrees, which I'm so pumped about. So we're going to the beach. some PR packages and some stuff I bought I want to open up and I figured let's open them up on camera or let's open some of them up on camera because <laughs> there's a lot. I went to Crate and Barrel a couple days ago and I already unpackaged one of the things that I got. It's this bowl that I wanted to buy. I don't know. Fine, I'll show you. This bowl, specifically bought this for the ramen recipe I just posted, and I'm really glad that I got this. Also, did not mean to buy these when I went to the Crate and Barrel, but that's what happens when you are a female in your late 20s, and you walk into Crate and Barrel, you just find so much stuff you need. Need, want, same thing. Look at these glasses. These are so cute. I thought this would be really cute in the summer for like an outdoor sort of like dinner vibe. If I was thinking alcohol, like a spicy cucumber margarita in this glass. I don't know, a spicy cucumber mocktail sort of beverage. And then there are lids that you can put on these. So you could also put like overnight oats in this or like a yogurt parfait bowl and they didn't have the lids in stock, so they're getting shipped to me. You know what is so embarrassing about these shoes I just got? These brand new New Balance shoes. I walk in and I immediately see the ones I wanna try on. I sit down and then my mom's like, my mom's with me. My mom's like, oh, the girl right in front of you is trying on the same New Balance shoes. And then I'm trying on the shoe, I see another girl from the corner of my eye, grab the exact same shoe that I'm trying on, that the girl in front of me was trying on, and I'm like, yes. I decided to buy a very trendy shoe, so that would make sense that every girl that walks into the New Balance store is also buying the same shoe, but I'm happy with it, so that's all that matters. It just fits my aesthetic so well. So, I got the 530s in the navy color navy and white color and yes if you are wearing these you're probably a basic bitch like me and like the other two girls at the new balance store but it's okay 
because they're so fucking cute and let me live. Okay, I have some PR to open from Osea. And seriously, I will never get over the fact that Osea sends me PR because this is literally one of my favorite, 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 favorite brands of all time. And I just feel so, so grateful to get stuff from them. I'm obsessed and I use every single thing that they send me. <laughs> I got this in the box. Golden Glow Body Set. So it's an Andaria Algae Body Oil, which I use that all the freaking time. Andaria Cleansing Body Polish, which I have not tried before, and a dry brush. I just wanna see what the dry brush looks like. They just have the best packaging, the best aesthetic, like everything. I love them so much. These bristles are really nice. They're quite firm, but soft enough that you can like really like get in there. Yay, so excited. Let's move on. Since I've been yammering away quite long already on these few items, I'm actually just gonna open this last PR package for the camera because look how big it is. I'm really curious. What's in here? It's from a company called America's Favorite, oh, Musco Family Olive Co. Okay, in the box, we had another box. It says 100% imported gourmet olives. Just opened this and I was like, imagine if this was the only thing in the whole box. Like, um, um. All right. So I've got six jars of olives. Well, thank you. Musco family olives for this gigantic package of olives. I think that's it for the PR I'm gonna open on camera. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. Sorry if this vlog was kind of weird and all over the place. I feel like I was all over the place the last two weeks, so that's probably why. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another video next week.